Let me take a selfie. Hey beauty addicts, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little different than usual, but we are in a generation of selfies, selfie sticks, and all of that, so I wanted to review this product for you, which is called the SNS Shop Selfie Ring Light. So, just a disclaimer: SNS Shop did reach out to me and wanted to know if I would like to review this product, and they sent it to me for free. And I told them that I would definitely do a video review if I liked the product. If I didn't like the product, then I wouldn't do the video review. So, I guess by me, you guys watching the video now, I obviously like the product, and I'm always honest. You know, I, I could have just told them that their product sucks and not done the video and still like gotten this for free. So this is completely honest, um, will always be, but I did want to just, you know, put that disclaimer up and that's kind of why this came up. This probably would not have come up at all because um, I'd never even heard of the product, but I'm actually super freaking excited that they reached out to me because I absolutely love the product and it's really helpful for me as a YouTuber. But the amazing thing is that it could also be very helpful for someone who isn't a YouTuber, just for someone who likes to take selfies. And like I said, we are a generation of people who like to take a lot of selfies. We have all these site types of social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter. Um, we also have obviously Instagram. So it's just like selfies galore. There's even a song called Selfies. So I thought that, you know, it was su such a great idea. And any YouTubers that are watching, you know, this will be a great product for you. Anybody who likes to go out at night, this will be a great product for you. But I don't want to get too much into the reviews. I kind of want to go over the basics of the product. Then we'll jump into some, some reviews from other people. And then also just, you know, my reviews and also some um, evidence. I'm going to provide you guys with evidence of pictures that I've taken without the selfie um, ring light, with the selfie ring light on each setting. So you guys will get to see what each picture looks like uh, with this. <laughs> You'll get to see what each picture looks like, whether I'm using the selfie light or not. You can kind of see the difference. And when I'm showing you the evidence, it's not going to be just the difference between pictures. It'll also be the difference between videos. So I actually filmed myself using the selfie ring light too. And on top of it, I use two different um, things. I use a cell phone, and then I actually use my Sony A5100. So stay tuned to see how I use the selfie ring light with this. All right, so let's go over the basics of this selfie ring light. So obviously, you can see the size of it. About the, a little bit, probably bigger than the a little bit bigger than the palm of my hand. I don't know if that's sad or good or what. Um, so this is the size of it. And then when you do this, it's like a clip. So kind of like a potato clip thing, potato chip clip thing. That's what it's like. So you're just doing that. Now I will say when you first get it, you're going to have to press really hard. You feel like you're going to break it, but you kind of have to use it a bunch for it to kind of loosen up a little bit. So when you first are trying to open this up, it's going to feel at least like mine did. It's going to feel like you're about to break it, but you're not. So, I mean, be careful. Don't break it. But, um, yeah. Um, and then right here is a section for batteries. I cannot remember if mine came with batteries or not. I don't think it did. Then the only other thing that you need to know is this button right up top. So you can't probably can't see it because it's black, it blends in with it, but you just press it once, setting one. Press it again, setting two, press it again, setting three. Now, the settings are really gonna depend on your preference. I usually just go straight to three. You definitely are gonna have to go straight to three if you are trying to take a picture or a video in pitch plaque pitch black, pitch black darkness. Like if you are at a club, if you are, you know, in a, your bedroom by yourself, taking a selfie yourself just to test out the selfie ring light, just to share with your YouTube family, then yes, you will need this to be on setting three. But when you put it on setting three, oh my gosh, it is amazing. I don't think a camera could, like my camera on its own would never pick up on my face in pitch black darkness. So yeah, I really, really, I really like this. Now, if you want to use the first or second setting, so once again, first, second, these are when you will have, um, you know, a little bit more light. Like I have such great natural lighting right now that I really wouldn't need to go to three, but sometimes I do anyway, because I notice with level three, that is when your, like if you're trying to take a selfie, your makeup is going to sparkle. The any, your eyeshadow, if you have any glitter, metalliness, especially with my look right now, the glitter is just going to shine. You guys are probably going to see that in my thumbnail that I'm going to create um, for this makeup tutorial that I just posted. And, you know, the pictures that I took, like, this 
level will make your makeup really shiny. The only problem is like when you're going this um, high of a lighting, it can end up being a little cool. Now with my natural lighting though, it won't look as cool because I have the natural light coming in and then I have this shining on my makeup. So this will bring out all of that glitter and metallicness, my highlight on my cheekbone, this will bring it out. But then the natural light will balance it out. So that's what's great about this is that even if you have all the great lighting, this will be like the final touch. If you don't have the great lighting, this is absolutely absolutely necessary. So I think to achieve the best photo, you want to have natural lighting and then use this. If you want it to have a photo that appears at all, or at least, you know, appears and you look like you can really see the detail of your makeup, this will help. I love it. I'm already like getting into the review, whatever. I have an outline and I'm kind of going off script, so whatever. <laughs> so I guess another basic thing that I wanted to say was that this typically runs at $47.99, but right now it is on sale for $29.99. So, and it's on Amazon. That's where I got it from. So if you go on Amazon, you can get it uh, right now for $29.99. So yeah, just pretty much finishing up my review. I think that this is a great product. I think that I would pay money for it. I would not, I don't think I would have discovered it had it not, like, had SNS Shop not reached out to me because I did not know it existed. Um, I knew selfie sticks existed, but I didn't, he I hadn't heard of a selfie ring light. But that's just an amazing thing to think about because if you think about it, if, you know, I plan on getting a ring light at some point too, just, just a, like one of the tall ones that's meant for filming, like, a YouTube video right now, and those are amazing. And you would think, like, wouldn't it be great to have something portable? So someone came up with something portable, which is great. So this is something that you can stick on your phone. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to mention. You can stick this on your phone, so like so. Stick it on your phone like this. You know, take a selfie. Um, so, yeah, so you can stick it on your phone. Now, the fun thing is I actually have stuck it on this. Now, the reason why I did that was because... This camera takes a lot higher quality photos and videos than my cell phone does. I only use my cell phone for like Snapchat, but if I'm gonna do, I used to use it for my selfies and whatnot, but the quality just wasn't there. The quality in this is amazing. The best videos, the best selfies. I'm honestly considering switching this to be my main camera for YouTube. My only hesitation is the fact that this, this overheats and I don't have a stand for it yet. So I didn't want to use the selfie ring light with my phone to take pictures for my thumbnail for YouTube, for videos, or for anything. So I'm like, I want to use it with this, and here's how. So this flips up, right? Now I will say you want to be careful, I may be being stupid, but this is what I do. Ta -da! Yes, I use this selfie ring light on my Sony A5100. On Amazon, it says to only use it with cell phones and tablets, but I also use my Sony A5100. So I put it on here. Now, granted, if you lean this back, starting see it's starting to fall. It kind of was grasping with my thumb a little bit so it wouldn't completely fall. So you kind of have to make sure it's completely upright or you kind of tilt it forward a little bit, which you end up doing with selfies. You're just like, you tilt it forward, you're like, like that. So the weight of the selfie light is going forward rather than backwards and flipping it back. It has flipped back before and it has been fine. Um, I don't, it's probably not the best idea, but I'm going to do it just because it works so great. So I do put it on here. If you do this in your, in this, this part of your camera breaks, it's not my fault. I'm just going to say that it could happen. I don't know, but it doesn't happen to me. And I'm a risk taker for something that ends up working so great. But so far, this not has, has not broken. I haven't had any issues at all with putting this on here. Occasionally, this will fall down, but it, it doesn't break or anything. Like, I don't hear any weird crack. So I put it up like this so that way I can take a selfie and then I can take video. The times that I use this light are when I'm using my Sony A5100 to take photos of my photos for my YouTube thumbnails. So ever since I got this, pretty much I think every time, for the most part, that um, I've created a thumbnail, I've used this camera. So I wanted to put this on this camera so that way, you know, my pictures look awesome. And so what I've been doing too is I've been taking pictures without it and I, I'll go like zero. Like I'll just do this, which means no selfie light. And I'll take a bunch of pictures. Then I'll go one. 
and then I'll take a bunch of pictures with a selfie light on level one. Same thing with two and three, take a couple pictures and then I can see the difference between them, pick my favorite and then go with that. So yes, I use them for my YouTube thumbnails or just any selfies that I plan on posting on Instagram. Not all the time though, every, I'm not saying that every picture that I use will have been using the selfie light, but I do use the selfie light to um, use in those photos. Now this selfie light, I'm pretty sure that in my emerald green makeup tutorial, I'm pretty sure level the setting, uh, level three setting was the picture that I used. I ended up using that picture because it really just made my eye makeup shine. Then the other time that I use it is when I'm vlogging. Sometimes, like especially if we're getting later at night, the lighting isn't as good. And there's this particularly one area in my dining room where I sit down, I edit videos, and I like want to like you know film myself. That is when I use it because it you know cancels out the extra warmth that's in the picture because I have a light on that's more warm, and I don't feel like completely setting up a whole all my you know lighting out there for a 20 second little thing that I want to say to you guys. So I just pop this on. I also was testing this out on Snapchat and my girl Liz Williams, I'm gonna, she's gonna love me because I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep mentioning her, but she actually, she responded to me and she said that she noticed that the lighting was better too and she really liked the selfie light. So I kind of was on Instagram or on, on, on Snapchat and I was saying like, hey, I'm testing this product out. Let me, let me know what you think. No selfie light with selfie light. And she really liked the lighting with the selfie light. So it's not just my opinion. Also, if you go on Amazon, you look at the reviews, it has a five star, uh, looks like a five star, like it's almost like, like 4.9 or something, and like 24 people had responded. Now, that's not a lot of people, but of all those people, it pretty much has a five star rating. Um, and I see why. I think it's great quality. It's not, it doesn't feel like a piece of crap, like, but at the same time, it's not too, too heavy, you know. I think it's a really great product and I think anybody who likes to take selfies or is a YouTuber will absolutely love it. I'm not saying that every picture that you have will be the time that you are using this particular product, but it is a lifesaver if you're in certain situations where the lighting isn't good and you don't want to have to completely set up all of your lighting, you know, it really is helpful. And then if you want your makeup to shine, that is another bonus. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the close-ups of the selfie light as well as picture and video comparisons using the selfie light on each level compared to not using the selfie light. So first we're going to jump into the close-ups. So here is the front of the selfie light. Here is the selfie light opening and closing. Here is the back of the selfie light. Then here's selfie light on level one. The selfie light on level two and then the selfie light on level three. Now we're going to turn it off and here's what it looks like just on its own. Next we are going to jump into the pictures. So the pictures I'm showing you right now are all without the selfie light. Now we're going to jump into the level one photo. So here it is on level one. Then we're going to go to level two. So this is the photo with level two, and then here's level three. So here is my selfie without the selfie light. So there isn't really much glitter going on. Then here you can see a little bit of sparkle on my cheekbone on level one. Level two, there's a little bit more sparkle. And then when we get to level three, as you can see, there's a ton of sparkle. It's really making my makeup a pop. Okay, so now we're going to do a nighttime test. The only light that I have on is this yellowish light up here on my wall. So we're going to see if the quality gets better when I'm using a selfie light. This here, and we'll do the lowest setting first. So we're on no setting right now. This is on the low. Okay, so this is on the lowest. Definitely brings out the highlight on my inner part of my eye. I can definitely see that better here, but I don't know if I necessarily think it's better. I'm gonna go another one up. So on to two. So this is two. See, I feel like I might just be looking too cool and washed out. Okay, level three. God, this is blinding me. So bad right now, but let's go test this out. I mean, it brings out the highlight highlights for sure. 
getting highlighter I'm wearing. It's totally bringing out. I just don't know if it's washing me out. I can't tell. I think I'm going to have to wash this <laughs> separately. Okay, now let's turn the lights off. We're going to go. We'll go in order. So we're going to turn it off. You're not going to be able to see me probably. It's going to be creepy. Yeah, no, you can't see me. So let's say you're at a club. You're dancing. Where's the button? Okay. So here's level one. So creepy. So this is level one with it being completely dark. This is level two. Let's do level I will see whenever I go back and film it. I mean, this is really good for the fact that it's completely pitch black. And you could totally easily see me. I'm not saying it's the best quality in the world, I don't think. Maybe it is. It's actually looking pretty good. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I completely recommend this product. I will link it down below for you guys. Like I said, it's on Amazon, available on Amazon, so I will link that down below just so you can, guys can go check it out and see for yourself. But I think it's really nice to have. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!